Good morning. It's a great day to be a beaver. And it's a great day for the crew program here at Oregon State. It's a great day for the rowing community in Corvallis. I'd like to thank you for coming this early. I know the rowers uh, are used to this early morning stuff, but the rest of us aren't. But thanks for coming out today. It's going to be a great day. Uh, but more importantly, thank you for your support and your generosity to get this facility built. This is a, a facility that the vision, uh, depending on who you talk to, goes back at least 20 years, if not 40 years, I found out from Robert earlier today. And uh, better late than never. It's a great start. It's a first phase. And uh, we're very excited about it and how it's going to support our student athletes. I would be remiss if I didn't at least introduce those people that worked on the committee as volunteers to get this thing done. Great, great efforts. Uh, the chair of the committee, and you'll hear him speak a little bit later on, our former Olympian, Robert Zagunas. Robert, where are you at? Wait, wait. Thank you, Robert. A person who couldn't make it had another commitment, but Mike Madsen was on that committee. Um, giant John and Diane Waller. Where are you at, John and Diane? Right, right in the back over here. Thanks a lot for your help. Ryan and Sarah Dillon. Over here in the back. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Sarah. Bob and Susan Poole. And last but not least, our former coach, Charlie Owen. Charlie? Thank you. I'd also like to uh, introduce um, one of our chief benefactors in this, um, Willard Keene and Pat and Tim Keene, Keene family over here. Thank you. Thank you all for coming tonight to this morning. I wish the weather was a little bit better. I think it will clear up for the, for the game, though. Um, I'd first like to thank Emily and I. I would really like to thank the administration for their efforts to make this happen. Um, really, Bob, without his commitment to our programs, it wouldn't be happening today. Um, so really big thank you to Bob. And our other administrators that are here this, this morning, Marianne Vidra and Todd Stansberry, who have worked really hard for our programs and for our student athletes. So thank you. Um, throughout this project, the last uh, since we did the groundbreaking in November last year, um, John Cheney, who's our our assistant AD in charge of facilities, has been really involved in the project at weekly meetings um, with the build team from Skanska, Kelly, and Greg, who have been here every day. They've done a great job. I think they've produced a really good building um, and a great place for our team. So, thanks to all the folks that were involved in the build. It's a remarkable improvement. Anyone that went, anyone that saw the demolition last year or had any time or experience in the old building, um, you know how much this was needed. The two middle of the building, the two locker rooms, men's and women's locker rooms, both with about 60 lockers um, for both the men's and women's teams. It's a great facility. Um, lockers, laundry, which is a a plus. Uh, we're pretty happy about laundry possibilities for these guys. And uh, <laughs> good showers, good restrooms, and a nice little team lounge meeting room where we can kind of debrief with individual boats, um, go over how practice has gone, and uh, you know, just have a little bit more space. So I really think that we're we're doing this this boathouse to make a home for our team, and it's really been a um, it's going to be a huge benefit for everybody involved. Uh, it's great to see so many friendly and familiar faces here this morning. Uh, we really appreciate you guys getting up early, coming down to celebrate the opening of this great facility that all of you helped us to build. Um, as Steve and Bob have mentioned, this is the cumulative effort of so many people. And I want to also extend a special thank you to somebody that couldn't be here with us today, but who has been instrumental in the progress of this facility, and that is President and Mrs. Ray. Um, they have been, it's, it's extremely unique and rare for a university president to be so accessible and so supportive of a rowing program. And I can't tell you what that has meant to all of us here, and I can't tell you what that has meant to this project. So in their absence, I want to say a big thank you to President and Mrs. Ray. As we're opening the doors of this facility today, uh, we're also thinking towards the future. All right, It has been um, phase one 
is definitely going to start to put us on the playing field in the Pac-12. Currently, yearly, all the teams on the men's and women's side in the Pac-12 are finishing in the top 20 in the country. All right, and that is an unbelievable statistic in the sport of rowing. All right, I think other, you know, you traditionally think about the Ivy League, the Pac-12 is far surpassing that at this point. So we are definitely competing amongst the best in the nation on a yearly basis. All right, this facility helps to level the playing field. The next phase is phase two, and that's going to complete the project. It's going to help us extend this building out into the parking lot, and it will house the ergs that are currently in the barn. Don't worry, the barn doesn't go anywhere, okay? But we take the best of the barn, which is the cross ventilation, right? <laughs> the area that you guys will see today that is the boat storage, that's a temporary spot for those boats. They will eventually go to a bay that will get added to the main boathouse. That area down there then gets completed into a team meeting room, coaches offices, and extra bathrooms. All right, when that phase of the project is completed, Oregon State now is on par with not only the top of the Pac-12, but on top of the entire country. This is an amazing start, and it takes care of our most important need, which is a home for the athletes, a place, a clean spot for them to prepare for practice, and that is definitely what we're all here to do. I would next like to bring up Robert Zagunas, who is our wonderful chairperson of our uh, committee. He has been not only so helpful in that regard, but just a wonderful support and guide mentor, guider for this project, and we really couldn't have done it without his help. So, Robert, thank you. You're welcome, Emily. Thank you. You know, the themes are going to be the same here. Uh, today is momentous, uh, and any time like, like today you step back and try to get perspective, and, and uh, you know, isn't this great? I mean, we're dedicating a new boathouse for Oregon State University rowing program, which is fantastic. A perspective requires a timeline. You need a past, a present, and a future. And the past is important because it is uh, days like today that you have to step back and really think about uh, all the individuals over the decades that have had something to do with this. You know, it's Coach Stevens, it's Coach Drillica, it's the multitude of coaches throughout the decades that have had an impact on this program. You end up uh, basically looking at all the athletic directors uh, that came before Bob did and the critical aspects that they had to deal with and the university presidents. And the history includes uh, efforts to not only make sure that the programs survive, but then that they thrive. Uh, when I first came here in 1971 to row, Steve Rogers right there was my first coach. And as an example, Steve, since that time, has been actively involved with the rowing scene here in Corvallis for 40 plus years. Uh, all the athletes that have come here, you know, have contributed in their own way to this program and in turn, they re receive benefits in form and numbers so various, but yet so important to all our lives. Uh, the past is important, but really the present is more important. It's what's going on now and what you can influence. Uh, Bob DeCarolis, you know, fantastic individual, and thank you very much for your support and the push really to get this done. Uh, Dr. Ed Ray was mentioned already, you know, with his vision and his matter-of-fact approach that was pretty simple. This boathouse will get built, period. The foundation staff and the current coaches, which really have gone beyond the call of duty in their energy and efforts to make sure that this day happens. Alumni, all walks of life, all ages, uh, have been key in the funding of this project. And make no, uh, there's no question about it, if that private funding hadn't occurred, this structure would not be here. So a special thanks to the alumni 
and all the friends that have helped. And with this thank you comes attached a hope and a, and a request that you stay actively involved with the program. So beyond the past, beyond the dimension of the past and the, and the present, there is really one more dimension uh, that is really the most important of all, and that's the future. Uh, the future is why we're here, really. We want the programs to continue to thrive. You know, we want the athletes to come here and row and have a collegiate rowing experience that is top-notch and that de develops them as people and really good individuals going forward. We want the crews to row well and to make the university and all the constituents proud of everything that transpires here and emanates from this location. So as the present migrates into the future, you know, uh, make it count. Support the program. As athletes, train hard and honestly. You know, as all people uh, embrace the friendship and all the qualities that this sport that we love so much really represents. This is a symbol for all of us. Preserve it, respect it, and really uh, embrace it for all the power and the benefit that it really represents, not only for today, but forever. So thank you. Point in time, we're going to do the ribbon cutting. So Robert, if you could get up there. Uh, the King family, if you can get up there too. Um, Steve and Emily, Charlie, the pools, come on on up. Oh, you do. Okay, we're officially open, so let's have a little tour.